so finally got some time to work on this right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting the axle a little bit and taking off maybe about a quarter inch or so you know I keep playing with it just so I can make sure I can get the right length the whole dry sh um, the axle because I have to send that to get made so right now it was butted up against the inside of the cup so right now I'm just cutting it down say about half an inch give or take re-weld it and then once I put it in and the length is correct then I can finally send these out to get made so I got some free time today so that's what I'm working on now This is the intersection of the axle that goes inside the cup. Those are the bearings that rolls around. So that's the cup. So basically just gotta even this up a little bit, cut off for maybe about another quarter inch, then put it in, reinstall everything along with the stand to get the right height to have the axle, you know, set and the suspension compressed so it could have a good placement of how everything will be so there's the cup and i'm just going to measure the inside diameter it should be roughly two and a half three inches and there you go so put it. okay so roughly two and three fourths so two and three fourths so the very edge is two and three fourths, just roughly right there. So I'm going to try and see if we can have the bearing about one inch, one and a half inch. So about right here. So it'll be in the center. So I'm going to measure it up. Place the bearing and studs back in. Try to get an axle length that height once the axle is actually compressed and it's inside. So I'm going to put everything, I'm going to jack everything up, put in the other. Um, spindle jacks just to hold everything in place and then measure it up again okay so there's actually more or less at the right height so this is all the way inside the cup Let's give me a better angle okay so that's all the way inside the cup so I want to be halfway out so it's gonna be roughly right here right, right there I'll be good so I probably gotta put in like um, that much in which I'm gonna say is about a quarter inch yeah quarter inch maybe three eighths okay here just a rough estimate of how I have everything set up more or less that's it so that space I have to basically um find some way to secure this either tack welded or whatnot because the shop is closed so I, I don't have access to the welder so I have to do this until I could you know be able to send it off to get made so yeah a little crude but it works so since we got this side axle figured out now I just gotta disassemble this whole entire unit so I could put this portion back inside the hub so I could just keep the brakes and bearings intact because this Axle shaft is all that has to get sent out to be made. And then you're gonna have them cut, right? Uh, no, I've already cut it. Oh, you already cut it? Yeah, cut it all of it. This side is fine. Oh yeah? Yeah. What I did is um, double check it. Uh -huh. I loosened this up. Right. And so have a little bit of it. Yeah. So yeah, I had with, with the wheel all, all 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 the way up. Yeah, um, I had um, cause I have the how did he make the the jack stand, the the suspension stand that uh -huh. bolts to the outside like a wheel. Uh -huh. So it's under compression. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. So when I did that, so I loosened it, put it in and yeah, out. So yeah, you have to have a little plate. Yeah, this so you don't want to be pushing the gears inside. Yeah. So I'm go, go. All right. So the car come down, now. You fix all the oil leaks? Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm putting the scavenger pump on today, and I'm gonna.
paint the bracket and all that stuff. And then we can start all that. The old pen is already done. So now with the scavenger pump set up, I should be able to start this week. Good, good. No leaks, please. I don't want no leaks. Me neither. <laughs> Take it. Do it right. Take your time. Mm-hmm. So today I'm going to show you guys how to take apart a S2000 axle, mainly any CB axle out there. Because when I was looking, I couldn't find any real good videos. So this is the outer end. It's pretty simple. Um, it, well, this is the inner end. Just take the bolt, the clamp off, and just pull the boot off. But this is always the hardest part. That's not a lot of videos on. This is the outboard side. So the first thing we do is let's take this clamp off here and here. Yeah, man. So once it takes the clamps off, as you can see, it wasn't really. I'm sure there's a better way to take it off, but eh, whatever. So I just gotta take this boot off, clean off some of the dirt, well, some of the grease, so it doesn't get everywhere. And then you just gotta basically hit this with something blunt I'm gonna put a piece of wood on it so I don't damage the actual housing but I'll show you the process this is the passenger side sorry this is the driver side This is a little difficult part. So in this one, there is a C-clip on the inside of the cup. It's kind of like how the axles are. That goes into the transmission. It has a little C-clip that holds the tension on it so it doesn't just slip out. This is basically the same setup. So you just gotta hit it off with a little bit of force so, and make sure you don't damage the outer housing. So this one's been a little bit stubborn. So basically, you have to hit inside here, along the splines, and it should just pop right off. But instead, the wood is breaking. So I just repositioned it on this side. Get a little better um, angle.
get this stupid clip off. Uh, so as you see, just had to heat up a little bit to get a little bit of flame in there. And all those stuff are burnt into the wood. So now I have to clean this whole thing out and take that inner section out. Um, it seems as if the clip is just dirty and grimy, so that's why it was being so difficult to get off. But yeah, we weren't giving up on that one. There's a little stupid secret. And there's a little stupid clip. So it's kind of like the same secret that goes inside um, inside a sh transmission. It just basically locks in place and you have to pry it out. So now this is the inner section. So we just gotta turn this cage so we can get the bolts out. I'm gonna show you one, but the process is pretty simple. Just put this in here, turn this whole thing. And the ball just pop up. has been a pain so far. Ha, there you go. You just keep turning everything around till all of them come out. until all the balls are removed so took all the balls out now we just gotta play with this and pull the cage out so basically just gotta work it around until it just comes up like this let's see if I clean it up a little bit better